Hey guys, let's do some calculus. This says find dy dx for y equals natural log of e to the x over e to the x minus one. So this is dealing with logarithms. So first thing we wanna do is apply this rule of logarithms. The natural log of a over c is equal to the natural log of a minus the natural log of c. So in this case, the top function is e to the x and this bottom function is e to the x minus one. And next, there's another property of logarithms we can use that the natural log of e to the x is equal to x. So this first term can just be simplified to x. So let's take the derivative. Derivative of x is equal to one, and then we're gonna subtract. And then for the derivative of natural log, let's use these notes right here. It's equal to the derivative of x over x. So let's do our fraction here, where we put x on bottom, but x is this whole e to the x minus one. And then on top is the derivative of this, and the derivative of this is just e to the x, and the derivative of negative one is zero. So now we're technically done, but we can clean it up a little bit. Let's give these two terms a common denominator. We'll multiply top and bottom by e to the x minus one. So now this times one is just this, and we can smush these together. These have a common denominator, so we can combine them into a single fraction where we just do this minus this. And e to the x minus e to the x goes away. And so we're just left with negative one over e to the x minus one. And that's the answer to the question. We can put a box around it. If you guys want to try more calculus problems, I have a link down in the description. How exciting.